Welcome. Please insert key card. Processing. Access to Site81's database has been granted. Secure. Contain. Protect. Item hash. SCP-4355 Safe SCP-4355 Inner Chimi Memorial Hall, photographed during initial exploration. Special Containment Procedures, Rachimi Memorial Concert Hall is sealed from public access. No personnel are permitted onto the stage or near SCP-4355. Description SCP-4355 is a humanoid entity seated in the center of the performance stage of the Rachimi Memorial Concert Hall, located in Los Angeles, USA. SCP-4355 wears a black tuxedo, white gloves, and a tie. Since its discovery, SCP-4355 has neither moved nor responded to any stimuli. SCP-4355's face is only possible to view directly, photographs or drawings result in anomalous distortions. Viewers have universally described its face as attractive, but fail to provide any further detail. Individuals who come within 10 meters of SCP-4355 are subject to a complex mimetic phenomenon. Those affected collapse to the ground before slowly crawling away from SCP-4355. Afterwards, any such individuals will only be able to focus on conversations about an unidentified individual, who is most often described as the most important acting venom of the 21st century. If conversation on another topic is initiated, they will invariably attempt to bring up the individual. Focused amnestic therapy has proved effective in reversing this phenomenon. It is currently theorized that an anomalous event occurred in the Rachimi Memorial Concert Hall which resulted in the creation of SCP-4355. Due to the lack of records mentioning the hall and general lack of public awareness of its existence, this event is believed to be under the effect of an antimetic anomaly. Addendum 4355.1 CCTV recording, during initial exploration, the security room of the hall was discovered in a state of disarray, with extreme heat damage across the walls and floor. The computer system was similarly damaged, with only the currently recording drive able to be salvaged. The drive contained a file, transcript attached. This video appears to be from a CCTV camera recording the main stage during SCP-4355. No audio is available. Begin track, 015, a man in a tuxedo walks onto the stage as the lights dim. The audience is seen applauding. 023, the man takes position in front of the mic, and removes an envelope from his breast pocket. He coughs into his hand before speaking into the microphone. 034, the audience is seen roaring in laughter for several seconds. 040. The man continues speaking before gesturing to the screen behind him, which begins playing an award nomination reel. Despite being portrayed as well-known actors and actresses, none of the individuals on screen have been identified by researchers or foundation databases. 137, the reel suddenly cuts to black. The man and audience are visibly confused. 213, the lights in the theater begin to flicker. Through the intermittent light, the audience is visibly panicking, with several individuals leaving their seats and moving toward the exits. The man on stage is attempting to calm them, to little success. 351, the power returns temporarily. Several individuals are crowded around each exit attempting to open the doors, which appear to be barred from the other side. Hysteria rapidly spreads through the crowd, with several individuals visibly panicked. Of note, the individuals screaming are in close proximity to the stage, which is distorted by a hazy glow. 405, all screaming individuals collapse to the ground. Once again, the power cuts out. 413, the darkness is broken by a massive corona of light on the stage, around a dark, spherical void. It casts light across the theater, temporarily distracting everyone. After two seconds, the man on stage who is closest to the circle is pulled in as if in a vacuum. Within seconds, all individuals in the theater are being drawn in towards the dark circle, 
several clutching onto chairs or other inanimate objects. Notably, no inanimate objects are drawn towards the circle. 429, over the course of the next 1 minute and 24 seconds, every individual in the theater is sucked into the circle. As more people are drawn in, the corona of light increases in intensity, until it is obscuring the lens of the camera. 553, the camera lens has been damaged by overexposure, and only a portion of the screen is clearly visible. The light in this area rapidly lessens, indicating the corona is disappearing. The theater returns to darkness. No further activity is recorded. End of track, addendum 4355.2, investigation. Within two months of the discovery of SCP-4355, a suspected probabilistic anomaly came to Foundation attention. Homes in high-income neighborhoods in the Los Angeles and Beverly Hills region were being discovered empty and unowned in abnormally high densities. Investigation revealed local banks were inspecting properties they had offered mortgages on, only to discover the homes were not legally owned by anyone, despite displaying signs of being lived in. Among the homes identified as part of this pattern was a small 52 square meters studio apartment, notable due to its contrast from the other homes in the pattern. It was sparsely furnished with only basic necessities. Several documents were found in the apartment, presumably belonging to the previous owner. Notably, distortions were found on all documents, obscuring the recipient's name. To Victor S. Snyder due to the date of your exit from Reed College. You will be refunded course tuition for the following courses, CW1839, Intro to Creative Writing AL2729, American Literature VA2810, Intro to Visual Arts AT2042, Intro to Acting and Theater The payment should be made available to the account it was paid from within 30 days. We're very sorry to see you go, and wish you only the best of luck in the future. Sincerely. Bruce Smith Reed College Dean of Students to Victor Snyder Thank you for your literary submission to Life magazine. It was passed through several readers and reviewers while we debated on what articles to include in the February 2016 edition. Unfortunately, we have decided that your article was not suited to this edition of Life magazine. Despite this, we wish you only the best in your future endeavors. This does not bar you from any further submissions and we look forward to any contributions you may have in the future. Regards, Joseph Callith Senior Editor, Life Magazine, eight similar letters were found, from March to October of 2016, to Victor Snyder thank you for your literary submission to Life Magazine. It was passed through several readers and reviewers while we debated on what articles to include in the November 2016 edition. Unfortunately, we have decided that your article was not suited to this edition of Life magazine. Due to the high amount of rejected articles you have submitted, we kindly ask that you refrain from further literary submissions. Thank you for your understanding. Regards, Joseph Callith Senior Editor, Life magazine In addition to these documents, a paper document containing ritual instructions was found underneath a loose floorboard. On second death man's physical form may die with the onset of first death. But his memory can only be slain by second death. The following ritual allows one to stay her hand. Compile a small cache of ingredients. They will vary based on the holder, but follow a general pattern. A lock of hair from a lover, optional, as the caster oft lacks a source. A bowl of blood, enough to boil. The source is irrelevant, they serve as proof of commitment. Once the blood is added in, you cannot break the ritual without disastrous consequences. Scrapings of flesh from whoever killed your chances of being remembered. Their quantity is largely irrelevant, merely the fact that they exist. Sweat droplets, acquired during physical labor. Proof of effort. Tears. No caveats. These ingredients are to be combined, heated, and mixed with water before being ingested. Once they are ingested, you will have approximately four days to complete the ritual before your body begins coming apart. You will need souls. The ritual must be performed at an event, preferably one attended by as many notable individuals as possible. Their recognition will be used for your own legacy. Addendum 4355.4 Interview
a D-Class personnel was exposed to SCP-4355 for the purposes of an interview post-exposure. A transcript is attached. Interviewer, Dr. Adam Travis Subject, D-19873, Begin Log, Travis, Hello, D-19873. D-19873, Hi. Travis, How are you feeling? D-19873, Better. I'm not sure what happened. Travis, You must have gotten dehydrated and passed out. You'll be fine. D-19873, Um hum, probably. Still, worth it for a chance to meet him. Travis, who's him? D-19873, only the greatest acting phenom of the 21st century. He's stunning. Like, some people just have that aura around them, you know? Travis, right. Tell me more about this person. Where did you first notice their work? D-19873, God, I couldn't tell you. He's been in like, everything. Every hit movie I can think of in the past couple of years. Course, they were probably hits because he was in M, but whatever. Travis, um hum. And D-19873, some people are just born for a creative life, I think. Your Kubricks, your Wells, those kinds of folks. He's one of them. Just an absolute star at everything he does. Travis, so, what did you say this person's name was? D-19873. Um. Oh God. I have it. Like, it's right on the tip of my tongue, I swear. Travis, that's fine, take all the time you need. Silence. D-19873, shoot. I'd probably know it if I saw it. End of log.